Okay, so you need your size 10 straight needles, and then you need super bulky weight yarn, and you have to hold it double. So you have two strands, the one inside the yarn and the one on the outside. And then you make a slip knot. You grab one of your needles, and you tighten your slip knot. So this is how I hold my yarn, and then I go under, over, and then go through, and in between. Again, and over, and through. Okay, now that we cast it on five, we're going to work the seed stitch for rows one through six. So we put our needle from the front to the back, and then we get our working yarn, not our small tail. Put that away. We go just like that. And that's a knit. Now we put our yarn in the front to purl. Then we go from the back to the front. We go over and around counterclockwise. Now we put our yarn in the back so we can knit. Go from the front to the back. And then our last stitch we knit. Back to the front, over and around. Okay. So you just do this for rows one through six. So this is usually a purl, and we usually purl it, but for the seed stitch you do the opposite. Which is knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Just like row one. I'll meet you at row 7. Now for row 7, we're going to knit, purl, and then you knit one strand, and you knit the other strand, and then purl, knit. Okay? You knit one strand, and then you knit another strand, and that's your increase. Now you should have six stitches on, on your needle. We knit, purl, knit, and then we're going to make one back. So this is what it looks like with the make one B. We want it to look like a pearl, so what we do is we grab this strand that's in between these two stitches, and then knit, pearl, knit, so we need to pearl it. pull it off.
And then rows 9 through 11, you just continue with the seed stitch, which is knit, purl, knit. For row 12, we knit, purl, knit, purl one strand, purl one strand. For row 13, we knit, purl, knit, purl, and then M1F. So the M1F, we go for to the front, to the back. Just pick up that bar in between those two stitches. Oh. And then we knit. Looks like that. And then we purl knit, purl knit. So we are done increasing. And then we keep doing the seed stitch pattern until your work measures 16 3 4 inches or 17 inches long. Or you can just measure it on your pretty little head. Okay? So I will meet you at the decrease rows. So for row 1 with decreasing, you knit, purl, knit, purl, knit two together. Purl two together and knit. And then you knit two together. Pearl two together. And then you knit the last stitch. And then for rows two through four, you just do the seed stitch, the knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit. And then for row five, you do the same thing, knit, pearl, Knit, purl, knit, and then you purl two together. So let's see, knit, purl. Knit. Purl. Knit. And then you purl the last two together. Now for row six and eight, you do the seed stitch. Um, and so we usually, we do the knit first, but we're actually going to do purl. So we purl. Pearl. 
And then you knit the last stitch. And then for row seven, you see this is a purl, so you don't want to purl it, we want to knit it. Okay? And for row nine, we knit purl, knit purl, and then knit two together. Okay, rows 10 through 12, you do the seed stitch and then we bind off. Okay, and now we bind off. So, you can either bind off with the seed stitch or just regular knit and knit. Because we're not going to see this, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. But I'll just do it in the pattern. So we... Do a knit and then a purl. We have to have two stitches over here. We grab our first stitch and we bring it over our second stitch. Okay? And then we just take it off. And then we knit another one because we have to have two stitches over here. And then we grab it. And then we take it off. Okay? I'm going to purl. Okay, so now that I have one stitch, I just pull it like that. And then cut it and then we pull the rest of it out and there we go And then weave your other ends. Okay, so now you just grab some extra yarn and you wrap, wrap it around. I'm going to tie a knot. And voila! <laughs>